Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a quick little get ready with me video. Just want to show you guys how I got this eye look with the Desi X Katie Dose of Colors Frankation Palette. This has been sitting in my collection for a while now and I bought it, I filmed a swatch party video and you guys probably never saw this on my channel. It's a little bit of an older palette but I believe you can still get it. And Dose of Colors has been making a really nice eyeshadow formula. I really enjoyed the I Love Sarah E. Dose of Colors Collaboration Eyeshadow Palette, the little six pan palette, which is what convinced me to buy this one because I was pretty sure I wasn't gonna buy this because I didn't need any more of the Dose of Colors formula, but I love the shimmer formula so much. It's so easy to work with, so I picked it up. And yeah, today this look I created using basically just two shades from this palette. So just a quick, easy, simple look. I wanna show you guys how this palette performs. So if you're interested, just keep watching. So I just want to demo this product for you guys. I've already filmed a swatch video, but I used this for the first time on my eyes the other day, and I thought I should do an eye look for my YouTube channel. So usually I would prime my lids, because I usually do my eyes first, but so this video isn't like 100 hours long, I already did my base, and then I would usually prime with like something like this. This is just the Essence Eye Primer but I just have concealer on today. And this palette is so easy to use, you guys. Basically, I just blend one shade into the crease and plop on a shimmer and it's good to go. Today I wanna use this uh, Dirty Money color, I think it's called. Um, so I'm gonna go in with the more neutral shades. This is the brush I used the last time I used this palette. So since I am super duper lazy, I'm just gonna use the same brush this is a very soft blending brush called the E27 by Morphe. I can like feel myself wheezing. It's pretty early in the morning today. I am getting ready to take my dog to dog training. If you guys don't know, I have five pets, two dogs and three cats. And they're usually very popular guests on my Instagram stories. So if you guys like that, but um, one of my dogs, Teddy, is going to, what is it called? Good citizenship training. So he's not going to be like a service animal or anything, but he's going to be trained because he's kind of a little brat. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you already know this. But I think a lot of people just love his needy personality, so... Yeah, we all have a good time on Instagram together. So as you can see, I love the Dose of Colors formula. I swear this is a newer formula, same as the I Love Sarah E collection. I am not a fan of their five pan palettes. I didn't like the formula. It was very, very dusty, but I swear this one is a little bit dusty, but not as like fall outy as so like you don't get a bunch of like dust on your face when you use that. So I really like this brown shade and it blended so nicely. And then all you really need to do is grab one of a flat brush. These ones are like from some set that I probably didn't spend too much money on. And this is a Too Faced glitter glue. I've been loving the Too Faced glitter glue, you guys. They better never stop making this because we would have a situation on our hands I think you can definitely do this with your fingers. I just like to use a brush, it's just easier for me. And then this is the brush, it's just a flat shader. I've been used to pack on glitter this week. So I've just been using this brush with all of my eye looks to pack on glitter. And the shade I thought would be perfect for the errands I have to run today. So like I said, we're taking my dog to dog training and then my best friend's church is hosting like a soup and sandwich deal. And uh, we're just gonna go support. So yeah, just a lazy Saturday morning at the Harris house. Hopefully you guys are having a good day. Sorry, I need to check on this situation. I do like to bring it all the way up to my crease. And let me just close my eyes so you guys can see it. This look, this color is a very cool color. It's like a dirty olive green packed with shimmer. 
I think this palette would create some beautiful nighttime looks. If you're a makeup artist, I can totally see this being like a really fun addition to a kit, especially if you do a lot of like nighttime glam looks for your clients. Okay. Ah! Glitter glue on loose. I need some more. So hopefully you guys like these makeup looks I do. I am not a professional, you guys. I do some makeup on like friends and like people have asked me to do makeup before and I will do it, but honestly, it's not my calling, I think. I prefer doing my own makeup. There is just so much that goes into artistry and I think that's like one thing I definitely have learned is just because you like to do makeup on yourself doesn't mean you're going to enjoy being a makeup artist. And I have so much respect for professional makeup artists because their hustle is not easy. Those kits cost a lot of money. You know, the products they have to stock and all the different skin tones you have to have on hand. So if you guys ever use a makeup artist, make sure you pay them well and you understand why they have to charge as much as they charge. It's backbreaking work. I did a wedding one time. Oh my gosh, I didn't, I just did it for the experience. It was so much work and I felt so bad for that bride because you know, on your wedding day, it's very busy and you have like maids of honors and personal attendants and stuff, but they're so busy getting themselves ready. Brides often, I feel like, are pretty neglected and so I was like helping her put on her shoes and you know helping them like sort out the sand for their like sand pouring ceremony like there's a lot going on at that wedding like I felt really bad for that bride so just a little shout out to all the makeup artists and brides out there anyway so this is the eye look and so this is basically almost done I'm just gonna go into this like neutral shade and Highlight my brow bone just a little bit. I don't like putting shimmer shades up there anymore. I used to be okay with it, but I feel like matte is the way to go. So I'm gonna finish this off, put some eyeliner on, put some mascara on, and I will be right back. The other item I've held on to for so long is this Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I bought this from Ulta and it was because Jaclyn Hill mentioned it and I never used it. I kind of like do this thing where I hoard things and it's actually pretty good. I'll give it that. I don't know how much product is in there so we'll have to see how long it lasts but it's pretty good. Okay guys so to complete this look I want to add a lip color and this one is one I recently picked up from Ulta. I found this while I was in store and it is a shade by Morphe. Um, it's a liquid lipstick by them, and this is like honestly my kind of nude. It's a very warm, like caramely shade. And this is my second time wearing this, so I don't know much about the length. I mean, I wore it to work yesterday, and it lasted maybe till like noon. So it's not the most long lasting, you would definitely have to reapply it, but I love this color for my skin tone. It's like a very cashew color, nude, but warm, very, very beautiful color for me. So if you are my skin tone, this is True Story by Morphe. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that little demo as well as the lippy. I really am enjoying both of these products so far can't comment too much on this formula, but I do really like the shade. The shade is so me. This is what I'm always looking for when I'm looking for a nude. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little demo video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.